You have my body, my choice. You have she's a baby. Abortion rights supporters, then you have those who oppose abortion rights. Sometimes they use phrases like those to express their passion and beliefs. Now, to oversimplify all this, it's about messaging. So what messaging can we expect about abortion rights in light of the uncertainty ahead when it comes to abortion rights? So the way that people think about abortion is we don't like it. We think it's kind of icky. Um, we're personally conflicted, but we would prefer to have it legal than not. Right. Um, you know, so they that that's really what public opinion is. So um, but it doesn't measure intensity. Right. So intensity is is really where you see when that the abortion opponents have been driven to the polls and have been highly organized and have been very, very very hard working over a, you know 50 years um, to get to this point. So that that makes some of the difference between sort of what you see in the public opinion polls versus what you see on the part of these highly motivated um, and in, you know um, opponents who who hold their opinions much more intensely. In terms of messaging, I think what you really want to get to is, first of all, I think that the default on the Democratic side is to be talking about reproductive choice and, and you know, medical rights and bodily autonomy. And those, by the way, are rights that are well established in all other areas, right? We don't force sterilizations. We don't force people to go through chemotherapy. Um, you know, the, people have to sign informed consents when they go into the hospital or if they go into surgery, you know, it's now standard pro pro um, procedure that we would have healthcare powers of attorney giving advanced directives and things of that nature. This notion of bodily autonomy is actually very well established in our culture now. So the question is, is do we extend that through to pregnancy? Right. And if we do, what are the you know kind of moral questions around that? So if, if it's not just about reproductive rights, but it becomes about bodily autonomy and it becomes about a right to privacy that, um, again, we now have statutory protection for, but not constitutional protection. I think that that could motivate some people who might not be feel as strongly about abortion, but are worried about what other kinds of well accepted rights could be endangered because of this decision. A lot of focus on this from now until November and then beyond even. Coming up next, why some Iowa business leaders are feeling a little less confident about the next six weeks, six months. <laughs> 